Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about whether or not sensitivity toothpaste actually works. And before we jump in, if you ever have a dental question, go ahead and type your question into Google and add teeth talk at the end and you'll find an article or video of mine with a toothy answer. So the answer is yes, most sensitivity toothpastes really do work, especially in relieving teeth that are sensitive to cold. Now, if you are having sensitivity to heat or sweets, that usually means tooth decay or in some cases, even a dying nerve inside of your tooth. Toothpaste won't fix those types of symptoms and you'll need to see your dentist ASAP if you're having heat or sweet sensitivity. But if you're having cold sensitivity, that's more common due to things like gum recession, which is unfortunately a super common thing in today's society. So if you want to find the best sensitivity toothpaste, here's what you need to do. Regardless of the brand, make sure the toothpaste has the ADA seal of acceptance. It will say it on the box and that way you'll know that it's clinically proven to help with whatever the claim is on the packaging. In this case, tooth sensitivity. Something to note about that, the ADA seal of acceptance usually takes about five years for a product to earn. So there is a chance that the product just isn't five years old yet. And if you're open to trying new products that don't yet have the seal of approval, that's okay too. You just need to make sure that you look for these two ingredients on the label, fluoride and potassium nitrate. Fluoride is very important since it helps to remineralize enamel and protect the tooth tubules aka little pores on your teeth, which are responsible for the sensations that are targeting your tooth nerves. Next to fluoride, the potassium nitrate helps block those pores, preventing sensations from coming into contact with the nerves inside of them. So as long as those two ingredients are in the toothpaste, you're headed in the right direction. And be sure to stay clear from any toothpaste that says it's for whitening. So if it has any peroxide ingredients on the label, whitening toothpaste and peroxide will only make your teeth more sensitive. Now, some types of toothpaste for sensitive teeth will be a combination blend that is both for whitening and sensitive and I always found this super confusing. So to explain this, it's important to understand that these combination toothpastes with both the whitening and sensitivity are not for people with sensitive teeth. They are for people who only have sensitive teeth when using a whitening toothpaste, if that makes sense. Like me, for example, I never have cold sensitivity or anything when it comes to drinking cold water, nothing on a daily basis. But when I whiten my teeth, sometimes I do get a little sensitive. So the whitening plus sensitivity toothpaste may be an option for someone like me to try. However, it's really not the best for patients who are looking to treat daily sensitivity. So if that's you, try to avoid any toothpaste that says whitening on it, even if they also say they're for sensitivity. And lastly, all whitening aside, back to sensitivity. If you're curious how sensitivity toothpaste really works, let me give you a quick rundown before we go because it's super interesting. Say you have sensitivity due to gum recession. With gum recession, part of your tooth is exposed where the gums have receded. And this part of the tooth that is exposed does not have enamel covering its tubules. Tubules are those little pores on your teeth that we were talking about and they shouldn't be exposed. But since they are due to gum recession, they are now exposed and open and feeling anything cold that touches it. So every time you brush your teeth, which hopefully is twice a day for two minutes each time, this sensitivity toothpaste that you're using can cover all of the tooth surfaces and it targets those little pores to help seal them off and make your teeth stronger, thus preventing the nerves from being triggered by any type of external stimuli, in this case, mostly cold. So it's kind of cool how those pores are now filled with the minerals from the sensitivity toothpaste blocking the cold sensation when you eat or drink anything. I think it's so cool. Again, the two ingredients that do this are fluoride and potassium nitrate. It usually takes about 14 days using sensitivity toothpaste before it produces a full result. And for best results, brush your teeth with the toothpaste and then spit it out. Make sure you spit. And then after, don't rinse it away with water. So you're letting the residual toothpaste sit on your teeth overnight is best. So those ingredients have more time to work. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace. Love and tea.